Hi everyone, this is Doug Fetting, VP of Business Development here at HPA, the Health Professionals Alliance. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 ways that you can manage and preserve cash in your practice. So, with apologies to David Letterman, remember him, here are the top 10 ways to manage and preserve cash. Number 10, communicate with your team. You've just gone through COVID where you had to talk to your team about closing down, when you're going to reopen, PPE procedures, sanitation standards. Don't lose that level of transparency with your team. It engenders loyalty. Continue to communicate, communicate, and communicate with your team. Number nine, talk to your creditors, talk to your vendors, talk to your landlord, those people that you owe money to. Is there a way to stretch out the payment terms? Is there a way to skip a payment and push it to the back end of that term? People are doing it on the personal side of the ledger all the time. There's no reason why you can't ask for those adjustments and those benefits on the, on the business side of the ledger. Number eight, manage your accounts receivable. As you may know, when that patient walks out the door, the process isn't complete until they pay you for those services. If a patient's balance goes past 90 days past due, the chances that you're going to collect that money from them drop to almost nothing. So make sure that you have someone on your team that is working those accounts receivable balances or outsource that to a third party. Remember, getting paid a percentage of something is, getting, is better than getting 100% of nothing. So don't be afraid to use a collections team if that AR balance floats way out past 60 days. Number seven, talk to your bank. Perhaps you have a line of credit that you can draw on. If not, this may be the perfect time to establish a line of credit. Interest rates are at historic lows. Talk to your bank, utilize that cash, that low interest cash, any way that you can. Number six, you know those low interest or no interest credit card offers that you get in the mail all the time? Well, if you pay those off before the due date, it's actually a great deal for you. Let's say you get an offer of $20,000 uh, over 18 months for no interest. Well, you're actually probably paying 3% administrative fee, so you're paying 3% interest. But if you can get a $20,000 loan, cash on a credit card, pay it back within that 18 month period and only pay 3% interest, that's a great deal. So if you take advantage of that offer, make sure you pay it off by the end of the due date or they ding you for the entire amount of the interest. Number five, contact your insurance providers. Medical malpractice insurance, business interruption insurance, life insurance, all the different insurances that you carry to protect yourself, your practice, your family. Now's the time to take a fresh look. Maybe you can adjust the deductibles. Maybe there are terms that you can change that'll impact the cash flow for you. Sit down and take a fresh look at all of those insurances that you carry. Number four, talk to your CPA and your financial advisor. So this is near and dear to my heart as a CPA. Your CPA should be talking to you on a regular basis about strategies you can use, especially as year-end approaches. Maybe there's depreciation you can take, section 179 on a recent purchase, okay? Maybe there's something you can do to help offset potential taxes you might have to pay on PPP loans that weren't forgiven, which, which count as income. Sit down with your financial advisor. Perhaps COVID altered your retirement planning and your retirement strategy. Now is the time to make sure to sit down and see that you're gonna achieve your goals with your financial advisor. Number three, consider refinancing all of your debt. You may have practice purchase debt. You may have equipment debt. You may have student loan debt. All the debt you have out there, if you can consolidate that into a single loan at a lower interest rate, the cash flow impact can be thousands of dollars a month. It's like, it's like manic falling from heaven. So take a look at consolidating all of your debt into a single low interest loan. Number two, 
ways to preserve and manage cash, believe it or not, it's communicate again, this time with your patients. When COVID hit, I have no doubt that you went above board communicating with your patients, why you had to close, when you were going to reopen, what you were doing for PPP, sanitation, how you were going to make it safe for that patient to return to the office, getting them back in the office because they missed an appointment. Now they're used to that high level of, of communication, those high level of touch points with them. So take advantage of that. Keep that connection going with your patients. And the number one way that you can manage and preserve cash, reach out to us here at HPA. We've created a company owned by doctors that allow them to band together to get group discounts and still maintain complete control of their practice. Come talk to us about how we're changing healthcare and become part of the alliance. So that's it for this time. I'm Doug Fettig, VP of Business Development with HPA. Thank you. Thank you.